On the northern shore of Lake Ontario stands Canada's biggest city. And as big cities go, Toronto is surely one of the best. And once you've experienced this superb city, it soon becomes apparent that it's not just the numerous tourist attractions that makes Toronto such a popular destination for visitors from all over the world. You get the feeling that this city knows what it's doing and why it's doing it. This, plus an extremely hospitable ambience, gives Toronto an appealing quality all of its own. Home to the world's tallest freestanding structure, the CN Tower, and the impressive Skydome Sports Complex, you'll soon discover other, perhaps lesser known, but equally impressive buildings, both old and new, are all around. A great way to see the city's skyline and Toronto's magnificent islands is to make your way down to the harbour front and take a cruise. for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed the cruise and the music and the islands and have a great afternoon in Toronto. Thank you very much. Toronto, like New York, is a city of neighbourhoods, not only based on ethnic origin, but also on income and even sexual preference, like the gay and lesbian village around the areas of Church and Wellesley. Chinatown is one of Toronto's most distinctive neighbourhoods with numerous busy restaurants and stores selling anything from porcelain and jade to herbs and pickled seaweed. It's busy, it's noisy, and you may have to wait a while, but one of the highlights of your visit to Toronto has to be a ride to the top of the CN Tower. Cafe and the entrance for 
for the Sky Pod, which is going to take you 33 floors higher. If you don't have tickets for Sky Pod, you can still buy tickets at the entrance upstairs. One level down is the glass floor. You can't get the